Eugene Bachenji is the member of parliament for Subin constituency in the Ashanti region. And just about three months ago, precisely December 21, uh, 2021, I was in the same office to engage his thoughts on some of the disturbances within the chamber, precisely how the minority decided to resist or block the first deputy of parliament, just as I was to partake in uh, the voting process in the chamber. Well, today, the Supreme Court has delivered a verdict. Some MPP members are rejoicing over that. NDC is super upset and have accused the, the judges of uh, dishonesty and, of course, um, what they call judicial interference of parliamentary practice. Honorable, I've come back to you. We had a conversation. Today, the Supreme Court has ruled. What is your immediate reaction to this judgment delivered by the APS court, sir? I think, I think, from my humble view, I think it's a victory for democracy, especially parliamentary democracy and parliamentary jurisprudence. Parker, I told you, you don't have to be a lawyer to understand the provisions uh, 102, Article 102 and 1041. It's just pure grammar. And I told you on the day when you came here that... As a, as a member of parliament, you represent a constituency, and that's what gives you the right to vote. The speaker, which the lawyers will say, speaker qua speaker, right? It's not a member of parliament, so he doesn't have a vote. So I'm, I'm very, very, very extremely happy today when the Supreme Court went further to say that the, uh, the, the, uh, the, standing, the standing orders that the or that 1093 yeah. is unconstitutional. But you are a member of parliament. They say that undermines your You see, you see, I, 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 keep, I keep, you see, when lawyers, mm. you know, I've heard my very good friend, uh, Roxin Dafiamapo, mm. uh, member of parliament for Saudi, right. speak. We just had a chat on WhatsApp. And sometimes when lawyers reason, we the non-lawyers are not at ease with ourselves. Because, you see, the standing order it's not bigger than the Constitution of Ghana. The mother document, the primary law of this country is the Constitution of Ghana. And that is why we went to the Supreme Court for a true and proper interpretation of those two provisions. And they have ruled. And I wasn't expecting the Supreme Court to rule anyway, apart from what they've ruled. So for anybody to suggest that they are the judges are dishonored. These, these are very harsh words. And some people will probably be, 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 be dragged to the Supreme Court for, for, for contempt. They should cite them for contempt? Yes, for which yes. I've just seen another uh, Facebook post by Honorable Sam George. Sam George. Right. He says he will resist it. Yes, you if see. If the speaker tries you see, to vote, you see, they will resist it. You see, this is crime of high treason. They should read the Constitution two, three, four and five. Mm -hmm. Articles two, three, four, and five. I don't know whether you want me to, you know, go, touch it, touch on it. Any person who refuses to abide by the, the rule of the Supreme Court mm -hmm. is akin to high treason. I see. Yes. They, they are refusing to acknowledge that. Yes, unless they want, they want to be put in prison because the Supreme Court has ruled. The reason why we went to the Supreme Court was that people felt that it was unambiguous. I felt it was very clear. But others felt it was unambiguous. The Supreme Court has sat on it, and they have ruled. So what are you expecting from your colleagues on the other side who are threatening uh, to resist no, any attempt by the You, see, to you see, it's a democracy. Nobody can threaten a democracy. Mm. If you threaten, the laws are there to do with you. In, in a can balance, there's a saying that, you understand? The law is supreme. The law is supreme. Once, it's, once there's a ruling or a pronouncement by the Supreme Court, it settles every matter. That's why you went there. It's the apex court of the land. And if you are saying, if you want to challenge the Supreme Court, the ruling or the pronouncement of the Supreme Court, you know what to do. They have simplified this whole judgment by saying that. It's, it's, it's like giving a referee, a jesse, to play the penalty see, in, in a see, very difficult you see, game. You see, people are not practical enough. You see, when I say people are not practical enough, what I mean by that is that there's a speaker, the speaker. Right. It's not a speaker, the speaker. It means something, it's construction. The speaker, that means there can only be one speaker. Right. Okay. In, you know, the nature of what you do, medical checkups, 
you know, a funeral, some, something may take the speaker out of the, of, of the chamber. In the wisdom of the purpose of our constitution, they say they must be deputy speakers. They, that is, but those deputy speakers are members of parliament. And it goes on to say that the second deputy speaker should not come from the same party as the first deputy speaker. It's all clear in the constitution. We've all done that. You know, the standing orders. We've all, um, you know, gone ahead to do all that. Now, if in the as a speaker, you want a deputy speaker to assume the powers or prerogative of the speaker, then you have you run into problems. That is why I don't know whether you were in the chamber the last time Honorable Abambabin gave us a lecture. Yeah, I was Yes. He went to say that he does not understand why the deputy speaker always tries to change his ruling. Because well, he feels that like he's a speaker. He feels that like he's a, even though some of his rulings may be unconstitutional, but he feels that like he's a speaker. Right? But because he cannot be there 24 7 with us, the first of the constitution in its wisdom has said, look, you know what? Let's have two deputy speakers so that they can assist or facilitate the work of parliament. You understand? And that is what transpired. And before this matter went to court, I told you here, yeah, I quoted a provision right from 94, 94, 96, 100, I quoted everything to you because clearly it's grammar. And because you cannot read the constitution, your constitution must be read as a whole a holistic document. I read it and right from 94, 96, all the way down to 104, it's very clear. English language, it's not law. So you commend the judges for... for, for Absolute, absolutely. It's not law, it's just common sense and English language, right? The construction says, look, the member, the deputy speakers, must be, must be drawn from the members of parliament, right? That distinction is there. Then if you're, if you're a member of parliament, it's like I sit here. I didn't come here by my, on my own accord. The people of Subing, the great people of Subing brought me here. So if I say that because tomorrow I have to go and preside over a meeting in the chamber, and by virtue of me going to preside to do somebody's work for them, I lose my, my voting right. Is that what you are trying to say to 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 to, to, uh, to the ruling? As you know, finally, for me, uh, the 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 suggestion is that going forward, mm -hmm. in order to ensure there is peace in the house, mm -hmm. would there be an avenue for an amendment to ensure that mm -hmm. deputy speakers mm -hmm. can be selected or appointed outside the jurisdiction of parliament? Mm -hmm. Is that, it possible? That, that's another that's another minefield that we all have to you know consider. But my view is that the rules are very simple. Mm -hmm. Unless you want to complicate it, the rules are very simple. The person is deputy speaker. They are, they have to vote. And, and Joe White did the right thing at the time and voted. People were making noise. You came here, I told you that Joe Weiss has done nothing unconstitutional. Because Joe Weiss is not here because he's Joe Weiss. He was elected by the good people of Bekwai to come and represent them. So he has a vote on every single matter. Go to all the advanced democracies, the Americas, the, the, the United Kingdoms. Every member of parliament has a voting record, a history. You understand? Every member. It's only in Ghana where people, yes, yeah, 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 we walk away. Every member. So when it comes to election, people can say, oh, this man, he supports gay rights. This one, he supports animal, animal rights. This one, he supports this. This one. Why do they come, come by that? They come that because there's a clear record of every vote taken in the house. You understand? So are you saying that if the people of the choir were to pick up a record of voting in the house, and they saw that Joe Weiss abstained, from all the critical votes in the house because you was a deputy speaker. Do you think you come back here as a, as a member of parliament? See. So, 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 so finally, so finally, your, your, your colleagues on the other side say that they resist. What is your side? I'm just telling them that they should avert their minds to the constitutional provisions. Mm -hmm. Article 2, 3, 4, and 5. So you allow them to resist and then block no, the speaker no, no, no. from protecting no. the vote? You see, you see, there's a tree language, there's a tree saying, I'm a born training, a you understand? Nobody dare. Nobody should dare. You see, Parker, we've been cool watching them all. You know that we are not men. You see, nobody should dare. Nobody should dare. Because there's a finality on this matter. So if, if you disagree, it's like if you disagree with the speaker's, the speaker's ruling, you know what to do. You come by motion. You understand? So if you disagree with the decision or the pronouncement of the Supreme Court, you go back to the court for a review. And I've heard a petitioner. Dr. The Professor Abdullah or Dr. Abdullah says that he disagrees and is considering going back for a review. That's what you do in any civilized democracy. So if you are civil enough, and I'm, I'm, this is to all members of parliament, if you are civil enough and you bring a matter before 
before a law court, more so the apex court of the land. And they rule, you abide by the ruling. Well, so they were saying they didn't agree with the ruling of the 2020 election petition. What did, what did they do? They it's a coup for the Senate President of Ghana. So if they get up from their chairs to block the speaker? They should, they should try. Now that there's finality on the matter, uh, do, do, nobody will be anything. Do, don't, please, 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 don't discuss it. It won't even happen. But if it happened because they have been done in China, Look, I said that it amounts, it amounts to high treason. Yes, I've told you. Yeah. It's not me saying, you know, it's, that, it's the constitution. It's not me. This book here is the one saying, it's not me. That provisions 2, articles 2, 3, 4, 5 says that it amounts to high treason. Go and read it holistically. It's, that, it's not me saying. Honorable, thank you very much for your time. Uh, Eugene Bachwenty is the member of parliament for Subin constituency in the Ashanti region. And he has equally served notice to the minority caucus that they shouldn't dare to resist the uh, first deputy speaker or the second deputy speaker from partaking in any way because the Supreme Court, the APS Court, yes. More so, Roxy Damafirapo is a lawyer for over 10 years standing. George, Sam George also went to law school, though he's not a lawyer. But he has a, he has a, a background in law, right? So how can he be saying these things? We, are, we the ones who did not even have been stepped a foot in the law school, can be saying that, not him. Sometimes, you see, people allow themselves to be ridiculed in this country. Yes. How can somebody with knowledge of the law be saying these things? You see, when somebody says, a lay person says it on the street, you can forgive them. But when somebody with the knowledge of the law makes such disparaging remarks against a, a Supreme Court pronouncement,